rail. There's no third rail inside the um, station. It's like push car. Push car. Push car. Oh, you already been, you been hit before? Yeah. No, I ain't been. I just know it got me one.
soup. Just make, make, make the grill soup. So we take the flat out by cutting metal off the grill. Okay, we cut metal off the grill, take on many, many miles of juices out of it. That's what we have to do. Because we don't want to get broken down there. Okay, um, so, suffice it that still we're going to get black. We get black. trains in for unscheduled maintenance. We do this every day. So we're cutting wheels on this one because they have flats. This is then for uh, preventive maintenance. We call a 45 day inspection. Then we have one down here in the middle that's in for annual inspection. And we have, we run a 45 day inspection on every car. We run an annual inspection on every car. So in once a year, we have an annual inspection on the, on the car. The earlier train I started with the trucks down, that was the annual truck inspection. The term truck that I use, that's where the motors, the brakes, and, and, and the gearboxes are. 
they do annual inspection on trucks, so we run all kinds of inspections just to make sure the trains are reliable and safe, okay? This is also the part of the shop where most supervisors don't come too often, okay? And there's always a breeze down here. But I always come down here and find guys hiding up. <laughs> okay. cars and we have 50 pair so we do one every, every one of these every week it's just about a year okay so a pair is what we run the trains are only gonna run in a pair we have to run two of them at one time the trains are not made to run by themselves we call them merit pairs okay now we can unmarry them if we want but they won't run so what the merit pair is one it runs together because one we have the battery on one car we have the air compressor on another car. And both of those phones are needed to run the pair. So we just divide them up. This car is in for one week. One week they go over, we have a seizure, they go over and find two phones. Any problems they find, they fix anything that's weighing out or that's on the verge of, uh, of deteriorating to the point where it's no use to us, is fixed, replaced, or whatever. This is where we replace breaking parts and try to make the train light new before we send it back out. So we have just to just be specific, we have an annual truck inspection. That takes about a week. That's where we look at all the truck work and all the things that could be wrong, okay? We have an annual PI, which takes a week. <clears throat> well, we don't look at the truck, but we look at everything else, the doors, the high back, the seats, the um, traction motors, everything. We have a 45-day inspection, which is in for one day, and then it goes back out. But we check the filters, and we look at the brake shoes, we do this kind of thing. We look place to collect the shoes uh, and anything that, that needs to be repaired they write it up report it to the uh, supervisor at the desk and then he will make sure that it gets fixed okay so there's a whole lot of work that goes into keeping these cars running on the track all right any questions about that nope okay cool Take you in the pit because it's just too dangerous down there. But see, so we have all kinds of electronics even underneath of the train. So much of our work is underneath the train because that's where a lot of electronics are. That's where just a lot of work goes on in the train. So, uh, I'm not going to go in here. I'm just going to show this to you. Don't want it too far to this shoot. This train is hot. Third rail, you touch the third rail, you take Okay? Now, this is where we wash the cars externally and internally. Okay, um, right now, I think we got something to malfunction. So, this is a good example of, now in here, the train is on third rail. So, even when we walk it through here, we have to be aware of the collector shoes, because if you touch them, I'm sorry, just, just the, I haven't seen anybody who's back. Okay, uh, now, twice the same. We haven't had a lot of these accidents around here. No, we've seen enough dogs out there and cats out there that uh, turned upside down with the, with the foot on the third rail and had the foot on the rail. But again, so this is where we wash the cars. 
Every day. We clean every every day before a train goes out. The train is inspected. We have a daily inspection also. Now, uh, uh, amongst the other inspections I talked about, we also have a daily inspection. Every train gets inspected every day. Okay? Now, we wash every train on the interior every day. So before it goes out, it's cleaned on the inside. We clean the seats, we clean the windscreens, we clean the floors. So that's everything. So we have, a, again, an arduous task just to get these trains ready for service every day. So Now, just to recap, so I have a daily inspection, which is done every day. Then I have a 45 day. 45 day will encompass the daily inspection, but we do it every 45 days. I have an annual inspection, which will encompass the daily inspection and the 45 day inspection. And um, then I have an annual swap, which is kind of separate from those inspections. But yeah, I have a lot of preventive maintenance going on just to keep these cars running. There's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of interfacing from one from one fence to the next, and I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of state-of-the-art equipment on the trains, so electronics on the train, and um, yeah, it just really continued to blow my mind as to how much stuff we have to go through just to fix the train, or how much technology and experience and education we have to have to be able to troubleshoot and understand the circuits and repair. Any questions before we move on? Now, this is gonna pretty much conclude what I have to show you in the shop, and I think I'm going to...